Okay, so this is my lesson two about advertisement posters. So at this time, I would be introducing, oh, not introducing, I'd be greeting the students. They already have a protocol established where they know to come in, sit down, and start working on their bell ringer while I take attendance. They know that they're welcome to work with their partners to answer and compare answers. But yeah, so I'd be greeting them, things like, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, it's great to see you all today. I hope you're excited for art. And then I'll be taking attendance and then we will be doing a group discussion to go over what they got for their bell ringer question. Okay. All right, everybody. So now that you all have had some time to work on your bell ringer, we're gonna talk about it as a whole. So I'm going to pull up this Jamboard, which hopefully it will share. Oh. Let's see, I think I got to stop share and share again. Okay. All right, guys. So let's list some things off that it's different about the two. Let's do this. The two pictures. So we can see both of them. I really hope this is showing what I'm doing. If not, you're just going to think I sound silly. Okay. All right, who wants to go first? Lily. Oh, you've read that book? Okay, yes. So the one on the left is a book series. So I'm gonna write that. I'm gonna put novel. Yes, Jacob. The Halo one is a video game. Anything else while well, I have this pulled up real quick? I'm just going to do colors at random. Hope you don't mind. Okay. There are characters in both. That's very good. Luke. Yeah, there are titles. That's a good one, too. Something else to think about, guys, is look on the one on the left. See the words up at the top right? Do you, can you tell what that is? Yeah, it is a little blurry. I didn't get the Miss Reed didn't choose the best photo, did she? <laughs> but yes, it's a review like a rating slash review. Yeah, the Halo one doesn't have it, but it's okay. Do you all want to say anything about the colors, maybe? They both have more neutral, well, not neutral, cool colors. Yeah, that's the right one. There are neutral colors in the halo one, so you did see that. But the more dominant color is the blue at the top. So yeah, let's put these where they need to go. Oh, I made the two middle ones blue. <laughs> Here we go. Not a whole lot of difference other than, you know, rating and the ones a book. But yeah. So did anybody answer the questions? So what are these? A book and a game, yes. But think of like what these are. Think more broad, I'd say. They're both pictures. 
that's on the right track. Okay, so yes, they're posters. I did say it right there. Good job. Okay, so these are both posters. And what do they show? The book and the game. What's the purpose? I was waiting to see if anybody said that. Okay, good job, Lil uh, Lily. <laughs> yeah, the Halo Reach poster is a newer game, so it is out. You've probably seen it at Walmart or GameStop if you go there. But yeah, it's an advertisement. So its purpose is to get you to buy it, to like look at that hero pose, it, to entice you, persuade you. Look at her, all mysterious. Doesn't that make you want to read the book? Which I do recommend if you are a reader. I, it is one of my favorite book series. But yeah, good job, everybody. Let's stop sharing so we can get back to the PowerPoint, which hopefully it shared that with you all. I really hope so. Okay. Now, we're on the PowerPoint. Oh, heck. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, what is an advertisement? And what's its goal? We did kind of just go over that in the bell ringer, didn't we? So, this is the dictionary definition of an advertisement. Basically, it's anything that kind of showcases or promotes a product, service, really can be anything. If people, person, place, you could advertise anything. And the goal is to persuade, yeah. Which it can also just be to convey a message and then just to inform the audience more about what's being advertised, which I feel in a turn would lead to persuade the audience again. All right, so here, this is kind of going over what we went over with the bell ringer. So some characteristics of advertisements and posters. So we're gonna look, let me pull up my pointer. So we're gonna compare, like point out each of these things over there, which I don't think it has a rating sadly, but okay, so title. Anybody tell me what the title is? One person, please. Daniel. Okay. Thank you. Yes, The War with Grandpa. This is a new movie. I got the, it's showing at the Richmond Theater right now. But yeah, okay. So the characters. So we can assume that these two, the little boy, and I'm assuming the grandpa, are the main characters. They're shown right here. Relevant images. This could follow with the background, like the setting of a room. Well, pictures relevant to the story. Is there a description or any information about it? Anybody? I'll point one out to you if you can point out the other. There's two in this. So a comedy for the whole family. Does anybody see where the other one is? Tracy? Yes. All he wanted was his room back. Good job. All right. Does anybody notice anything about the layout? I want to see if you all noticed this. It took me a second after looking at it. There's other, there's not just one thing, but. Yeah, they do have like the producers and actors up here, the top, which kind of, so there's this little bit up at the top and then there's a lot down here. So we haven't really talked about this a lot, but that makes the image more weighted down here at the bottom, which kind of with the colors, use of the color, gets darker down here, which also 
keeps it more weighted and grounded. I don't expect you all to know this, but that's very good pointed out. Anything else? It's really hard, so I'm gonna I'm gonna help you all with it. Okay, so see how there's kind of like a slant here with the grandpa's height and the little boy's. It's played off with the title. It's ever so slightly slanted upwards, so we get these diagonal bits. It's really hard to tell, ain't it? But look, see the little space there? <laughs> There's not a rating or review. This down here is more, um, the word escapes me, like a, hmm. it's more of this, more actors and producers, yeah, sorry, class. All right, so next, can anybody answer this? What can be advertised? This list, y'all are welcome to speak out, Let's list off some things. I'm going to hold up a finger to see. How many you all get? Books, games, yeah. People, places, food, yeah. Restaurants, anything else? <laughs> products, like different products, yeah. Okay, very good, guys. So, that's, well, I listed off seven, which is a lot. Y'all did some broader ones, which is fine, but, so, basically, everything can be advertised. You could advertise this, this pencil. Yes, BIC, 0.7 HB pencil. Holding up to the camera. Ooh, Miss Reed has a pencil. <laughs> you could advertise paper. Um, advertise a phone. Here I have an earring. We could advertise earrings. Anything really. Yes, you could advertise your shoe. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> Socks too, yeah. Anything. Just about everything can be advertised. All right, so as you all may have assumed, we're going to be doing, oh, ignore that. <laughs> going to be doing, this will let me switch it. It's showing it. Advertisement posters. So this is going to be y'all's handout. I wanted to go over it real quick before you all get it. Let's zoom it in more so we can go over a little bit by bit. Okay, yeah. You are allowed to use your smartphones again, but as you all already know, say it with me, if you use your phone irresponsibly, you will not be allowed to use it further good job and for this you all can use color pencils markers and crowns if some of you want to try doing collaging here it's open you don't have to use color if you're more comfortable just doing black and white drawings it's fine getting a little ahead of ourselves though aren't we so this is uh, assignment is an advertisement poster you get to choose whatever topic you want to do. That's family friendly. Mm -hmm. Snicker away. It's got to be PG. But you can do your favorite book, a video game, a place you like to go, instrument, singer, sports team, anything. It's open. So this is the checklist looks a little funny for you all it's going to have boxes right here i'm showing it in uh, the google so it's changed from how i had it in word 
So this is the checklist. So this is what you all will have to include in your posters. I know it's, it's not completely open guys. There has to be a little bit direction, but yeah, it'll be really easy and you still be able to be as creative as you want to be. So you have to include a clear title. So you can put it as the focal point. Most advertisements do have that clear title with right in there in the middle, or it can be at the top or the bottom, as long as it is known what you're doing your uh, poster about. Because how hard would it be to have the title really tiny? Yeah, super tiny, and then you wouldn't be able to know what you're advertising about. So the audience should be able to look at that poster while they're walking by and be like, wow, that's about a sports team. Now, you are welcome, as I said, to use your smartphone. You can use these to look up different fonts if you want to get fancy with it, to look up what you want to advertise, do some like research on it. And this is just some color theory stuff about using complementary colors which is, as we talked about before, colors that, yes, they complement each other, but how so? Yeah, yeah, yellow and purple, they, the purple, where it's darker, makes that yellow stand out really good. Green and red, stand out, good job. Okay, you got to have images that relate to the topic. So I put one here. I used an example about Harry Potter, like you probably want to include. You don't have to if you all do make one over Harry Potter. Do anything. But the scar on his head or like his glasses <laughs> or a wand. And some characters if you want to draw the characters. You all don't have to include characters. I know the advertisements that we looked at both had characters in it, but you don't have to do that. Like, you do have to have images, which is what I said. You could do symbolism. We've talked about symbolism before. But yeah. And then next, an intention grabber. So something that connects with the viewer's eye. So I put these four out of five stars. Just a random rating. But it doesn't have to be a rating. It can be a rating and a review. It can just be a review. Oh, an award. As I say right here, most books get awards if you do it over book. Sports team, maybe like put if they won like big championships or anything like that. If it's a band, maybe put where all they've played. Or if they hit the charts, like a number one song or top ten or something like that. It's open, as I said. Yes. <laughs> good, good question, Jimmy. You can make the review your own review. Or the rating, your own rating. I'll show you an example. Yeah. It's a good question. Thank you. Next. You will... Hey, don't groan. You will have to include a description, which is a small writing assignment. Calm down, guys. It's really easy. You won't have any issues with it. I promise. It's really short. It's not even really a writing assignment. It's just something brief just to tell me what the topic is and maybe why you chose it and then some of your design choices and then why you made them. It's really, yeah, it's okay guys. I promise we will get through this. Art is still the focus. Just a tiny little sprinkle of writing. Which guys, if you don't wanna write, you can do voice recording, send me the recording. You could use, remember Flipgrid? Mm -hmm. 
you can make a brief tiny little flip grid video or i know some of you all have TikTok. oh don't be so surprised miss re keeps up with the times <laughs> oh cringe really <laughs> okay come on but you all can make a TikTok. i know they go up to like a minute do a minute just talking about your topic and, you know answer the questions that's fine and then just send it to me see it can be fun all right so next i'm going to show you some examples let me figure this out here we go all right this is the one i made see i didn't this is a book, one of my top favorite books. I know I said that earlier about the other book series, but that's a good book series too. But even see, I made my own review, the perfect series for any young reader interested in fantasy fiction. Miss Reed. <laughs> but I included some relevant images. This is from the story. This is a character present. Both of these are characters. Yes, animals can be characters, y'all know that. The author that I made, the title, the main focus. I even added some little sparkles for magic, just to sprinkle in some more fun. Thank you. But this is something, this includes all of the stuff that you all have to do. I didn't do my description, yeah. I can t I can type up a quick description for you all uh, for next class and show it to you just to give you an idea about how tiny it is. Or I can just do it right now and show you because I said that y'all can do recordings, so I'll do that. So this is the title. I'll check off everything. Title, check. Characters, relevant images, check. And then review, check. Easy. So the description would be, let's go back to the questions. Let me look back over to it. What is the topic? So it's a book series. What made me choose it? It's my favorite book series. What design choices did you, while you're creating it? Let me go back to PowerPoint. So my design choice was to have this bird flying in. It's a hawk, which is a main character in the series flying in and almost grabbing the wild the deep part of the wild and i wanted that just to emphasize the wild part because what's more wild than a creature grabbing something yes i know there's wilder things guys but i just liked the contact connecting characters with the title i chose to do the magic clouds and those sparkles just to emphasize on magic and just to kind of fill up the space more and then i put all of this down here at the bottom to kind of ground it like we talked about with the one movie poster the war with grandpa because you want to you don't have to but i just chose to have a more grounded image this is a necklace with a badger's claw on it. It's from the story as well. And then this is another main character. But yeah, so see, that was easy. That took less than a minute. No worries. As I said, you can use your technology, make it fun. And some of you can just write it if that's what you'd rather do. Or voice record it's open okay these are some other this advertisements i wanted to show you all they don't include everything that we need but i just thought you all might want to see other ones and i wanted you all to point out some things in them so can anybody point out anything lily pretty flowers yes do you see these yeah, some relevant imagery with the keys. You see what that's called? The 10,000 doors of January. So doors, probably some keys in that book. <laughs> and 
Mm-hmm. Character, yeah. Looks like he's flying. <laughs> Darker coloring too, you see that? Makes it very dramatic looking. Anything else? Come on guys. Both of them have titles. Zingo. The 10,000 Doors of January. Did you all know this book is actually written by someone in Berea? Mm -hmm. Pretty awesome. It's very pretty color. A very pretty color. You're right, Lily. Do you see this? This would be part of like a description. Proud to power a real salt lake. Yeah. See, I'm going to put it back to my example because it has everything you'll need it. But I just wanted to show you all to start. Like, if you see an ad, I'll, whenever you're out and about, you can stop and be like, wow. And look at all the different aspects of it. The title. Like, pay more attention to it. I challenge you all to do that. So, I'm going to leave this up. Sorry. So now, we're not starting our assignment today. I know, you're probably excited. <laughs> but I'm going to pass out the paper, and I'm going to have you all... Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pass out the paper, and you all are going to brainstorm. Can I actually... Jimmy, will you pass out the paper for me? Thank you so much, sir. That's awesome. Okay. But, sorry. Keep losing my track of thought. So, you're going to brainstorm. And before you leave class today, I need you to come up with a topic and start thinking about different layout ideas or what characters you want to include, anything like that. And then raise your hand as you pick up pick your topic so I can come by and check you off. Everybody needs to be checked off before you leave class tonight. Today. Yeah. One more question, guys. Just to see, to make sure you all can, are all at the same spot. So, who all feels like they could at least list two advertisement poster characteristics? Raise your hand. You don't go list them out loud. I just want to see to make sure. Everybody's feeling good about it. Okay, awesome, guys. That's really good to know. All right. So, now, we'll, as you all work on this, brainstorming, that's all you have to do for the rest of the class, okay? And if you get done early, you can go ahead and start working on it if you want. Okay, or you can start working on your, uh, like, description. You can start with the first two questions. I know you can't do it all yet until you get it completed to answer about why you made the design choices you made. But you can go ahead and start talking about why you chose that topic and what it is to you. Well, what your topic is. Yeah. All right, everybody. So, at this time... Now that they're working, I'll be waiting for them to raise their hands and go over and work with them. Uh, for my accommodations, I'm going to speak to the talented and gifted student I have and let them like challenge them to use more vocabulary that we've been talking about in the past few classes and the ones that we mentioned some in this and in the the handout, I have some, a few words boldened so they know, like, maybe he still is. I also mentioned color theory in the uh, handout, so I was wanted to challenge them to color and make it, use that color theory with it. Okay. Uh, for the other accommodation, like, that's what, like, the writing assignment, I wanted to make it open. So those who can't write as well 
or feel uncomfortable with that can do the voice recordings or the videoing. If they'd rather type, they're welcome. They're allowed to type if they need to make the font bigger. So that's still really open. Yeah. Really hope it got the Jamboard part. If not, that's going to be embarrassing. <laughs> that's it. Okay.